Yay! Hey guys, are you ready? It's day 17. Since you see it, I think you know I am about to show you a non caked up version of today's color. <laughs> Ooh, guys. Oh, 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 first tea. Berry and elderflower tea. Awesome. And look at that. How pretty is that? Okay, we better get going because we gotta get this caked up and then knitted onto our socks. Just did the math. I think I'm going to need to start doing the heel heel on mine. Um, I was trying to decide. I think going off a of last sock, there was really only enough yarn to do like one day's worth of yarn for one heel. So, and then the next days with a little bit going on the second sock, just you know, because we want each sock to have both. And so I knew that when I hit the fifth or sixth color in, I would need to make that decision. So, so we're gonna work on my sock and adding in, this is the, um, we're gonna do some rounds and then adding it in as the heel flap. And then we'll just add some rounds onto Isaac's sock. And then hopefully day six, we'll work for his heel flap. That's the plan. Let's hope it works. <laughs> Hey guys, we are at, well, I believe, I'm gonna give it one more count before I like officially start the heel flap, but I think we've got enough rounds on here that we can start the heel flap. So I'm super excited about that. Okay, so for my question of the day, I have a cat right here. If you're wondering why my arm's like <laughs> constantly moving. <laughs> He's very cute and purry and flirty right now. Um, I can't resist a cute flirty cat. He's so cute. Okay, anyway. So for the question of the day, actually has nothing to do with Christmas. My question is, what is your favorite way of weaving in your yarn ends? Um, currently, I'm doing the duplicate method uh, and I did almost 100%, not totally 100%, mostly 100% on the other sock, the duplicate me method. But the other method I've been using is actually called the Weave and Steven. And I don't even know if that's like the correct name but when I googled it that's what came up and I haven't like deep dived to research like is this the name of this method or is it because a specific knitter made it popular and it's always been a thing I don't know so right now we're calling it the weave and steven and if you google it you'll see exactly how to do it it's super 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 simple and I don't even know if it's like the most recommended way of taking care of your yarn ends, but because these are just scrappy fun socks, I'm not super worried about it. I think we'll be fine. So that's what we're doing to kind of speed up the process and I'm, I'm happy with it. And good news guys, I'm keeping up with both mine and Isaac's sock of weaving in the ends. Oh, like in the evening when it's dark and we're sitting maybe watching a movie, a lot of times I've been pulling them out and being like, okay, let's get the two, tails of yarn that needs to be weaved in because honestly that's about it when you're keeping up with it it's like oh i just need to weave this in real quick unless i forget a day and like last night i was like oh i forgot one i think i might have just like skipped over it because it seemed like there was another one already weaved in. i don't know i'm not really sure what happened but it is what it is so anyway question of the day what is your favorite way for weaving in your yarn ends my only issue with the duplicate method is that when I do it at the end of my socks, I feel like you can feel it with your toes. So I've been kind of wondering, wondering if there's some other methods out there that might be a little bit smoother just for at the tail end. On this sock, I'm not worried about it being all the way through because it's already textured. I don't think either Isaac or I are gonna notice. But so that's that's been my like issue. It's not even like a big issue, but like, because we've been working like like one of the main reasons I've liked homemade socks 
other than they're just awesome as is. But also I like that they're seamless and that you can't fill the seam because that's always been an issue to me since I was a little kid. And so I'm always like, oh, so now that I can feel the yarn and weaved in, does that like defeat the whole seamless sock? I'm probably overthinking it, but if you have any suggestions, please tell me in the comment section down below. Um, I've done a little bit of research and I saw someone recommend almost doing like a zigzag of a tail weave in. I don't know. So anyway, let's go make a yellow flag. is it for today um i know we still have a little bit more knitting to do we got to get isaac's sock done before i do like the official instagram picture but uh, this is the end of the video part of the day i hope you're having a lovely day and i hope to catch you tomorrow bye